sales floor here at John Heaster Automotive is still operating and selling cars while practicing social distancing. But around back, they're working on something really special. When the health crisis hit, John Heaster realized his service employees were running out of work midday and were scared for their paychecks and their families. He said, what are we gonna do when we run out of work? And, and I didn't have a good answer. So John went home and made a plan to pay his service technicians across four different dealerships to restore 14 classic cars. And it just started with, hey, we'll put them in the shop and, and we'll pay them to work on them in the same way we would pay them to work on a customer's car. Now, once the customer service work is finished, the challenge begins. And to go back and work on something that has a carburetor and it's, it's a new experience for them. So I think they're getting the kick out of it and have a lot of fun with it. So much fun that they made it a competition with just 12 weeks, limited budget, and bragging rights on the line. In the end, the team who can make the biggest improvement for the least money wins. That winning car gets auctioned off to charity, and the winning team gets to help decide where that money goes. The energy went from, from completely stressed out to completely uh, engaged and excited, and, and, and I think they kind of feel like they're a part of something that, that's new and unique. So. For now, the work continues and the excitement builds with just a few weeks left. And car enthusiasts can watch along on social media as those finishing touches are put into place. Joanna Himes, CBS 17 News.